Another night in the shop. Quiet. I just installed a mini distance sensor within the face mask that's going to control all the electronics and only turn them on when an object or a face is within an inch or two of this sensor. It's quite small, but I like it. Not only are we going to be saving battery, it's pretty sweet. Well, it's time to test fit. It's been a hassle installing all the electronics within the face mask, but a long time ago I figured out with this project, you have to do the electronics first before you can do the frame. But I'm pretty sure it'll fit. Alright, we're putting on the helm for the first time. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Snug fit. Oh, this is nice. Just, here we are. Now you can see perfectly in here. Oh, and on this day, a hero was born. You guys could see what I can see in here. Freaking amazing. Seems to be working pretty well. Now let's try the visor. It's still a little iffy if I'm going to be keeping this on because it just kind of gets in the way. Then again, it does keep a solid set. It'd be a lot easier to install the armor plating right on top of this visor. Give a little more protection. Prometheus is definitely coming together. I'm content. The next step is to design the neck muscles and the shoulders, but before that we need to figure out how we're going to lock the faceplate to the helmet. What I've been thinking about is these micro servos would be perfect for that sort of thing. And lo and behold, we have a shield for that servo shield. So Unless you guys have a better idea, that's probably where we're going to go forward here. But chances are we're going to find something better and just keep upgrading. Now that we know that the faceplate and the helmet can fit together with enough space for the user to comfortably breathe and move around and whatnot, we need to start working on where exactly on this exterior visor we're going to be drilling the holes to support the armor plating on the outside. I'm still stuck on the one fourth um, thick steel plates, but that could still be subject to change. With every step forward on this project, we need to make it perfect. By the time this project is complete, it won't be a prototype. It'll be the final version. In the meantime, let's take a look on the inside of the mask so you can see what I see when I don it. I'm working on programming the mini distance sensor installed in between the eyes. As of now, it shows a red light when an object is close enough. As such, that's going to tell all the electronics in the suit to turn on, kind of like a battery saving sort of thing. Looking through one of these lenses, it does not do this project justice, because it's much clearer in person. And once all the data is displayed on this transparent OLED, it's going to be a true HUD. shoulders is completely designed we're gonna start on the arms which we had big plans these linear actuators pull or push 1320 pounds each note one of them is going to be acting as a bicep another one is going to be the tricep and they're going to be offset on the wires so when one is pushing the other one is pulling my bicep is only that large but in comparison to how giant the power armor suit is going to be this is equivalent to the bicep. My plan is to have two of them like this and one sitting next to right there. So both of the motors is acting as extra protection for the shoulder. The joints is gonna be in the pivot just as usual. 
I try to have it as compact to the body as I can. And then again, this thing's gonna be a monster. Now, when I call this project a monster, let me explain. This is a version one hand that was created over a year ago. That's supposed to be the exterior of, or shall I say, the frame of the power armor. This quickly became outdated because all the servos and linear actuators I was using was too big to fit inside of this. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you do the electronics first. The frame and the welding and all that can come after once you already have all the dimensions. Otherwise, it would just be a memory. In the Fallout universe, the power armor in itself was created as a walking tank. No matter how much I try to compact this, at some point, there comes a time to which we have to accept it's going to be a monster. Whatever project you have on your plate, or even one that you want to start, just remember why you started or going to start and hold on to that. I started this project with my buddy Dom over a year ago and it was in its infant stages at that point. But it's grown and grown and grown. And if I quit like I originally had planned for quite some time, I wouldn't have gotten to the point where I am now. If you're working on a project or you want to get into a project, the only advice I can give you is just you're spending more time thinking about it and effort thinking about it than it would to just do it. I sat there for a couple months twiddling my thumbs on debating on if this project should live or not and I realized it's a lot easier and a lot funnier if you just do it. 